The first 10 seconds of Badland Brawl are a little disconcerting. Where the first two Badland games focused on intricate and clever physics-based platforming, the first taste of this one tastes a lot like Clash Royale. But stick with it. There are a lot of similarities here, but there's actually more going on underneath than you might first think. Yes, it is a card-based kind of MOBA with towers that you need to destroy. But there's one huge difference that sets it apart. Most MOBAs take place on a flat plane. You might have multiple lanes to move down, but especially in the world of mobile MOBA, walking forwards in a straight line is par for the course. And while there is definitely straight line walking in Badland Brawl, it quite literally throws another idea into the mix. You see, the units you unleash onto the playing field are twanged from catapults set in the towers that you're defending. And this makes the game feel completely different. For one thing, it gives you far more control over exactly where your units are landing and heading. It gives a verticality to the game. Some units fly, others stomp along the ground, and you've got defensive weapons that can take down one or the other. Because of the physics of the game, there's a lot of last minute upsets and exciting random events. In the fifth game we played, we were on the verge of victory, with a flying bomb robot almost into the gaping maw of the enemy base. But a clever shot from our foe pinged the robot out of the tower and back to mine, thanks to a fortuitous bounce. The slingshot mechanic adds a slice of physical reaction-based skill to a genre that's, for the most part, about making the right decisions. The decision making is still here, of course. If you load your deck wrong or make a bad unit choice in play, you're gonna get beaten. But if you play smart and importantly, aim your shots right, you can make matches way closer than they might otherwise be. There's some interesting free to play stuff going on here too. Victory eggs that you'll snag for smashing an opponent's tower to the ground can be opened instantly. But if you stick them on a wait timer, they'll take a few hours to open, but give you more rewards. It's little things like this that make Badland Brawl one of the more player-friendly PvP mobile games we've seen in a while. It wants you to play, which is a refreshing change from games that just want you to spend. It's definitely a challenge as well. You'll find yourself pushing into the higher multiplayer leagues in order to earn new cards and test yourself against the very best players. Victory can be super sweet, defeat can leave you broken. But there's always the drive to jump back in and have another go. It doesn't lock you out with energy timers, which is great, but the enhanced egg upgrades do force you to wait if you want the good stuff. If Clash Royale and its ilk left you feeling cold, but there's still space in your heart for a mobile designed MOBA, then Badland Brawl, with its twanging catapults and arcadey scraps, is definitely worth considering.